Oh, I do hope it's Lillian. Lillian! Oh, Luis, I came as soon as I could. Is Frederick back yet? No, he's still missing, and I'm getting so worried. Do, do come in, and, and who's this with you? Oh, yes. Luis, this is Mr. Johnson. My research assistant and driver. How do you do, Mr. Johnson? And Macy, this is Mrs. Taylor, the wife of my mentor, Frederick Winslow. How do you do, Miss Taylor? Please leave your hats and coats here. I'll get some tea. It's the maid's day off. May I be of assistance, Mrs. Taylor? I'm an expert at making tea. <laughs> yes, Macy takes good care of Frank and me at Gilbreth Workshop. Just like a good research assistant should. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mrs. Gilbreth. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Johnson, but no. I feel better when I have something to do. Please sit down, the both of you. So, this is the home of T. Mr. Taylor, who started all this measurement of work? Weren't you listening as I explained all this on the drive from the train station? I couldn't hear you very well. My Model T is quite loud. Yes, it is. This is where Taylorism was born, that people call scientific management now. They must have paid well to afford this grand house. No, I think he made his fortune as a mining engineer before he started implementing his management theories. You know, Mr. Taylor gave Frank and me our start in management consulting. Yes, as in all those time and motion studies you have me do out in the field. Actually, Mr. Taylor did time studies, always armed with a stopwatch to time every task a worker completed. Frank is the one who added the motion picture camera so we could measure the commotions a worker went through to complete a task, as well as how quickly he completed it. And that's what makes it a time and motion study. And that led to Henry Ford and my Model T. In a way, but not exactly. Always remember that Taylorism came first. There had never been anything like it before. Each worker just completed the tasks the ways that worked best for him. Mr. Taylor changed that long before Henry Ford came to the scene. What? Before the Model T? Before any automobile, if you can imagine that. <laughs> Shh. Here comes Mrs. Taylor. We mustn't let her hear us laughing when she's so upset. Here we are. I'll pour the tea, Mrs. Taylor, so you can tell Mrs. Gilbert everything she needs to know. Yes, Louise. How has Frederick been? He had a terrible cold last week that turned into bronchitis. But he felt better yesterday morning. Yes? He wanted to go outside. It was such a beautiful day, I, I agreed to his sitting on the porch for an hour. It is so wonderful to get some fresh air when you have been shut up indoors for days. How were his spirits? He was troubled. He kept mur muttering about unfinished business. Business, Mrs. Taylor? Yes, he said it over and over. Unfinished business. I must go. That is interesting. Do you have any idea what business he meant? No. He said it both before I got him settled outside with his books and papers. And again, after he had been reading for a few minutes. What was he reading? I don't know. Several things had come in the mail for him, and he was looking at them. He looked so comfortable. There in the rocking chair, a black watch played, blanket over his knees, that I thought it was safe for me to go into the back garden for a few minutes. And that's the last you saw of him? Yes. Then I heard an automobile pull up in front of the house. A Model T? I don't know. I can't distinguish one automobile from another. So you saw the automobile? From the back. I, I stopped to brush dirt from my hands, and when I got to the front door, there was nothing. No book, no blanket, and no husband. Just the automobile driving away? Yes! Oh, Lillian, would you find him for me? I'm so worried about him when he's been so sick and with no one to look after him. I will do everything I can. I promise you, Louise. Macy, we're going to the Providence. To Gilbert Workshop? Yes. Mr. Taylor has done a lot of business with us, and he considers some of it to be unfinished. 
Stay strong, Louise. And keep in touch. I will. Thank you, Lillian. I care about him too, Louise. Macy? Yes, ma'am. Start the Model T. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>